you're doing it for yourself. So like the ice cream's calling me and the chocolate chip cookies. And everything that we want in this life, we can easily achieve and we can easily get it doing what we need to do, not what we want to do. And you can feel your feelings on January 1st. Good morning vlog. I am so excited about today's video. We're already starting off from like such a strong foot. I know y'all heard the term like blowing up in your winter arc era and stuff like that the whole last 90 days of the year. It's a little bit less than 90 days now, but we can still we can still do it. And I've been wanting to, so I'm like literally so excited for this video. We're about to jump into our winter arc era, about to level up for the rest of the year because why the hell not? Like why do we just keep going throughout the year? just complacent like let's just lock the fuck in right now whenever 2025 comes we're like okay i did everything that i could in 2024 so now i can step into this new year and i can feel happy and content and just proud of myself i'm just so excited for this video um i think y'all are really gonna enjoy this it's all about like leveling up self-care being the best version of yourself and not giving up on yourself because don't count yourself out before the end of the year is even over like you still have so much time to do all the shit you wanted to do in 2024 so let's hop right into it and let's make the most of these last I don't even know how many days it is, like what, 70 days maybe? Oh no, it wouldn't be 70. Last 50 days maybe, maybe. Let's hop right into this video. <laughs> important that I'm incorporating into my winter arc is really just like small health and wellness things and I'm also trying this new diet out but like that's for another video I'm um, not necessarily like a diet but just a better a healthier way of living so I hear you're supposed to take a shot of apple cider vinegar every morning and like that's supposed to be really good for your gut health and all of that stuff and I'm really just trying to heal my gut right now 
so we're gonna take a shot this morning and then you're also supposed to start your morning off with a glass of uh lukewarm water with lemon juice in it but only have lemonade concentrate and not actual lemon juice but it's fine and then you're also supposed to start your morning off eating berries so i have some blackberries here that i'm gonna eat after i do all this stuff Ooh. Y'all, this is about to take me out. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. You're doing it for your future self. Part of my winter arc, I really just like want to eat healthy all together. So I'm about to try to make avocado, put it on my toast, and put my eggs. I don't like avocado, but I'm gonna give it a try. I'm not an avocado girl at all, but it really looks honestly really good, okay? All right, I really want to like this, okay? I really, really, really want to like this. All right, here we go. Oh my, I'm so scared. This is kind of good. I'm still not the biggest fan of avocado, but because there's like barely any on here, I like it. Here he is, see? If I wouldn't have tried it again, I would have known I liked it. And I'm missing out on all these health benefits. So, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna talk about my winter arc stuff in like a second. Okay? Like I wanna eat and like I really wanna talk to y'all about it because I have so much to say and I'm so excited for it. But this also looks really good and I'm starving, so. Y'all are just gonna have to wait for me. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this whole winter arc thing and what it is and why people are raving about it and what's the big deal with it. So basically your winter arc is whenever you lock in for the last 90 days of the year, which we have a little bit less than 90 days because we're, we're starting a little bit later, but it's okay. It's never too late to hop on your goals, okay? So basically you just lock in for the remainder of the year. Everything that we want in this life, we can easily achieve and we can easily get it. It's all about just staying consistent and actually pushing through past our breaking point because we as humans we give up when shit gets hard we give up and if we don't feel like it we we rely on motivation rather than discipline to get things done and that's where we really mess up so these last few months we're ignoring what we want to do we're ignoring what we're motivated to do quote unquote we're ignoring our feelings and our emotions and doing doing what we need to do rather than what we want to do because what we want to do is not always in our best interest so doing what we need to do is the most important thing here and that is the goal is doing what we need to do not what we want to do thing is you don't want to sit here and look back and be like yeah i definitely could have done more or yeah i definitely wasted my time like aren't we tired of wasting our time because i know i am so we're about to just lock in for the rest of the year um you're not seeing your friends as much it's cold outside well not in louisiana but it's cold outside in most places so you're inside a lot more and this is honestly the perfect time to really just focus on yourself, ignore and block out all the outside distractions and everything else in the real world and really just focus on you and what you got going on, okay? So first things first, we're going to need to find a goal or find something that you want to improve in your life. Um, it could be something that's going to be your news resolution. But the thing about news resolutions is that people make this long list of resolutions. And then by the time the week of January comes, people are like, oh yeah. Like, where's your resolutions? They're out the window. Nobody really sticks to them like that. Like, they have all these big goals, all these big dreams. Write them down. They're so excited. First week strong. Okay, maybe even second week. By the time we get to the end of January, beginning February, most people have quit on their New Year's resolutions because you can't overload yourself with all these goals. Like, 
the new year's is not the time to start all these goals you need to start a few months before and so that by the time the new year does come you can be like oh yeah i'm just gonna stick to these goals i've been doing so it's like it's already in your routine and it's already who you are first we're gonna sit here and we're gonna set one singular goal for the end of the year we're not gonna overload ourselves. we're just gonna lock in on one singular thing that you feel like can really be life-changing if you do all right so mine for me is kind of broad but it is consistency i've already stuck to most of my goals throughout the year but i've just struggled with staying consistent with these goals um and these little life habits and stuff and so my thing is consistency yours can be working out it can be eating healthier it can be saving up more money it can literally be anything that you want to work on or something that you really want to hone in on for the rest of the year really just focus on that and if it's a you know category of things and do that too whatever you think that you can do and whatever you think you can handle and stick to just do it okay all right so you know that saying a goal without a plan is only a dream or only a wish you need to plan out your goal and exactly how you're going to accomplish this how you're going to accomplish this through the end of the year you're going to write down this goal very clearly you're going to get a little journal write it down and then you're going to write out how you can accomplish this goal before the end of the year or like how you can stay consistent in this goal or whatever it is like it's so going to the gym okay make a workout plan if it's eating healthier okay meal prep for the week what are you going to meal prep what are you going to cook look it up all right so i'm going to tell you exactly how i plan on staying consistent on my journey and what my winter arc is all about okay? so mine is gonna have a set wake up and bedtime having a set time just in general no matter what your goal is is very important and just having that consistency in your schedule to be like oh yeah i go to sleep at this time i wake up at this time boom that's just it all right and then also time blocking your day i really want to get more into that i'm a calendar girly i like to have bullet points but i've never tried time blocking so it's definitely something that i want to look more into and i feel like that's going to help me stay more consistent with my goals is just blocking off okay like this amount of time i do this i do this you know i want to get my 10k steps in lemon water apple cider like i just want to eat healthier as well and just staying like consistent with that and like taking steps forward to like stay consistent in that limit social media because social media is my biggest demise like literally if social media wasn't the thing like i would be so consistent like i really would but i literally just get stuck doom scrolling all day so i'm gonna limit my social media intake there's honestly no need to do it um there's a little app on your phone where you can limit it to like an hour a day 30 minutes a day whatever it is i'm definitely on that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then i also want to listen to more podcasts and read more like i always find myself putting on netflix putting on youtube but it's like i really want to enrich my brain i really want to grow and learn new things so i want to like listen to more podcasts and read when i have the time because i love reading i just don't ever make the time to read and yeah and then also 30 minute workout but i already do that consistently and i already kind of took out through my morning i woke up early i went to the gym boom that's what i wanted to accomplish i wanted to eat a healthy breakfast i did just that and i also tried avocado which was disgusting i mean it wasn't disgusting but it just the consistency just really isn't my thing and the texture thing is really just like not my thing but i did it anyway and i'm still gonna do it all week because i know it's healthy for me and i know that it's good for me so i'll just get my feelings and we're just gonna push through what i know that i should be eating and yeah with really staying consistent to your winter arc is first writing everything down right and then you're also gonna want to have progress pictures having something that motivates you that keeps you accountable or even journaling every day and be like oh yeah okay i did this today i took these steps to get towards my goal today how did you move towards that goal every single day you need to write it down you need to take pictures you just need to stay up so that way, whenever you are feeling down, you're feeling unmotivated, you're feeling like, oh, like I'm not getting any closer, you can go back and look at, okay, I did get closer, you know? I saved a dollar more today, or I ate healthy so well last week that I just felt so amazing. So like, of course I'm gonna do it again this week, even though I feel like the ice cream's calling me and the chocolate chip cookies. It's like, no, like I felt really good last week, why would I wanna ruin that? Or, you know, three weeks in, you're like, oh, I fit my fitness journey, I just don't feel a difference. I don't feel like I look any different that one you kind of need to be careful with because you're not always going to see the difference immediately because sometimes it's working internally before you see it externally so fitness you just have to be very patient with yourself and honestly i say just push through the end of the year and you're going to see a difference by the end of the year if you start now that's just what i have to say but don't be looking every week because you're not going to see the biggest change because you have to work on yourself internally before it goes externally before you actually see your results okay so just be very kind with yourself if you're like getting into fitness okay and honestly just keep going okay don't stop and then our next step so you have to manifest as if you've stuck to these goals throughout the end of the year and how you're gonna feel at the end of this 
so my time January 1st comes you're like okay I stuck to my goal of blase blase for the last blase blase days and I feel amazing my body looks amazing we hit my fitness goal I'm finally eating healthy and consistently and I enjoy eating healthy um, I finally didn't give up on myself I finally pushed through past the hard parts I finally kept going and now I feel like this, this, and this. So you just like write as if you've already achieved those things. And so that way, whenever you do achieve those, it's like you're just kind of confirming what you already thought would happen and how you would feel. Um, and you honestly just, you're manifesting it. So you already know how manifestation works. So whenever you write in the present tense as if you already have it, then the universe hears that, the universe sees that, God sees that, God hears that. Whatever you want to believe in, and it's already yours. So claim it and it's yours, basically. Um, but you really have to manifest intentionally and just the right way as if you already have these things and how you would feel so much emotion Like you really have to put so many details into these little journal prompts um, And that's really the only way to do it And then you just manifest, you know every day every other day once a week um, Whatever you want to do whatever fits your schedule I definitely recommend journaling every day though to just kind of like get your mind right and finding out what's important and your reason why you're doing this. Yeah, your winter arc is really just pushing through on your goals, whether you want to or not, and saying, forget your feelings for now, and you can feel your feelings on January 1st, or you can feel your feelings on December 31st. Like, but right now, it's not about us, it's about our future selves, so push through for them. Push through for the version of yourself that you want to be, for the version of yourself that you see so clearly, you just have to get there. Push through for them, and don't stop, okay? People always stop right before they turn the corner of everything they've ever wanted. So don't stop, keep going, push through, and it's gonna be yours. I believe that whatever goal y'all have set for yourself, whatever goal you're reaching for, I believe that you can achieve it by the end of the year. If you just stay consistent and don't give up on yourself, it's literally, it's gonna be hard. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be challenging. But if it wasn't, like, it's not really rewarding. Like you have to push through the pain, push through the struggle, push through the hardship to get to where you want to get to in life. I always love that saying that if it was easy, everyone would do it. So come on. And your blessings and what's meant for you will be for you. You just have to push past your self-doubt, push past your insecurities, push past your limiting beliefs. Um, and just go full throttle. Like don't stop. Manifest your life. Um, think positive. Speak positive thoughts into yourself. Make it a lifestyle rather than just, oh, like, I go to the gym sometimes. It's like, no, like, I go to the gym and, like, that's just what I do. Like, I just go to the gym, like, or I just eat healthy. Like, just this is how I eat. It's not like I'm thinking about it, like, oh, I have to eat healthy. It's like, no, I just eat healthy because I enjoy eating healthy. Like, what else would I eat? Like, I don't enjoy eating anything else because I enjoy eating healthy so much. So, y'all got this. Just be positive. Be nice to yourself. Um... And if you miss it one day, hop right on it the next day. This is really just about pushing through to the end and not stopping. Like if you miss it for three days and you're like, damn, like I fucked up for the rest of the year. Like, no, you can still hop back on it and finish through. Like wherever you stop, that's where you start. And you just keep going and don't stop, okay? We almost done with 2024 and then we're on to 2025. And I just feel like so many blessings are just waiting for us, but we have to stay consistent to our goals and just push through so that we can receive and accept those blessings in 2025. I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. I hope y'all were able to take a lot away from it. Y'all have an amazing day. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more of me. Let me know what y'all wanna see in these next videos. Um, Vlogmas is coming up, so just like, let me know. Um, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.